Lisa. We out. Here with Carrie and Zuma. I kind of town. On the Doughboy TV. Day coming to you live from the fifth annual gala for the Motherless Daughters Foundation. And as always, here at DTV, we're giving you the exclusive inside look at every event that we cover. So tonight wouldn't be complete if we did not have such a legend. Now, listen, I must be honest. I grew up as a little tot listening to your music and it touched my soul. Oh, no, you are not, girl. You are fabulous. Listen, I just have to say that even to this day when I listen to your music, it touches my spirit. So to have that timeless, classic music yeah. that people are still craving, I applaud you because you have years, years, years Thank in this industry. So but since we are here for the Motherless Daughters, like how do you feel um, connected to such a beautiful foundation? Oh my God, oh man, when Rosalind invited me, I really didn't know what to expect. And then I kind of knew what to expect, but when I got here, it was like, oh my God, like this was so huge. And it just amazed me to see how many people came out and support such a great cause. But um, this was really personal for me. Um, although I grew up with my mom, but I am a motherless mom. I'm a motherless child now, you know, I lost my mom. It seemed like just when I needed her, when I was 21 years old and I had my own apartment, my mom had, you know, she left left pretty early, so I can kind of relate. This was very dear to my heart, and I'm so happy. I, I'm glad I was able to be a part of it. Me too. Like the, when when you see girls that need mothers, and some people might think of that one thing, like boy, maybe you're abandoned, but you do have those losses, and that's how those girls do not have their mothers. So for those who are watching right now, and those girls who may have lost a mother as you did at an early age, how did you overcome, you know, that sadness to become the strength of a woman that you are? Because you are powerful. You are a light. How did you go through? that testimony there's never let's say have you have tests in order to get to your testimony how did you overcome that struggle for the girls that are watching us today it was a process you know because you never forget so you know it, it's just cling to somebody and, and fill their heart and just follow somebody that's going to lead you in the right direction yes i love that message because there is a blessing in every single lesson and you never know where that glory is going to come from so i know that you are still out here you are being amazing and shout out to when we grow and we are seasoned and looking as good as you do honey yes i'm thankful mr L Derek vaughn my trainer you know mr look good naked he keeps me busy so i'm just trying to preserve my little sexy what i got left of it because this thing this thing gonna fall apart soon y'all girl love you never lost it you never lost it's it it's gonna fall apart <laughs> so i'm just trying to live life and try to live a healthy life and just be there for my three-year-old granddaughter amen to that so for everybody who's watching and they still want to follow you maybe they need some mentorship and they want to reach out to you and just follow in your life because you are glowing honey how exactly would they locate you i am on instagram at the real lily swv and i'm on twitter at lily lions l-e-l-e-e -E -E. L-Y-O-N-S, and I'm on Facebook by the same name, at Lily Lyons, so. You are amazing. It has been a pleasure. I can now die knowing that I've met one of my childhood legends, and I am so grateful. Thank you for coming tonight. It has been a pleasure. You know, and it's so, it's another thing, you know, as artists, they people tend to feel like we've done so much, but me coming here, I've been in the business over 25 years, and I came here, was so awesome, and to see the service and the works of all all of these beautiful people in Atlanta, I feel like I have not done a thing. So me, myself, at 44 years old, I need to get to working. 
you know. Listen, I was sitting there, I was like, I need to leave here right now and go and do some work, help somebody, feed some homeless, I need to do something. Yeah, like we, we all are responsible for these young girls, so we, you know, we got to get to work. Get to work. That is the message here today. Get to work, protect our youth, and help them be the greatest that they can possibly be. Thank you so much for interviewing with us. It's been quite the pleasure. No problem. Sansa Raylande with DTV coming to you live from the fifth annual gala for our Motherless Daughters Foundation.